God is moving. Yeah. It's Young People Nation. Welcome to Young People Nation. Listen to us weekly as we commit to bring transparency, healing, and truth to the everyday situations in life that might bring you down. Join us for your weekly dose of inspiration. Thank you for listening to Young People Nation. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode. And now, here's your host, Eugene and Donna Perry. Let's go. Christ is the foundation. Know his word gonna lead us. Know I'm already going. Taking steps I believe in. Giving guidance to the youth. Giving guidance to the lost. Give the world to the project. Lead them back to the cross. Welcome back to session three of Young People Nation with Team Hankerson. All right. Welcome back. Yeah. Welcome yeah. back. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Good. I'll tell you, I have really enjoyed these sessions. These, mm-hmm. these, uh, this couple, um, they are such you know, the world talk about a power couple. You yeah. guys oh, yeah. just really <laughs> bounce off each other. Working together. It. Yes, yes. Yeah. And so, you know, we always like to give a, a, a briefing of just a tidbit of who we got before us because you all are definitely gifts from God. And we're honored that God allow us to encounter you all and meet with you all. And we're going to back up. We're going to thank God first. Yes, and we're we going to thank our sponsors. Mm-hmm. We're going to thank those who support us in this journey with the podcast. Oh, yeah. And so uh, I tell you, my husband, he be out there. Um, he said, hey, do you listen to podcasting? And, um, <laughs> and some people be like, no. and Because he, he, he's very passionate about this. This yeah. is what God gave us to do two years ago. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. gave him the name. And this is all God, folks. Oh, yeah. Okay. That we're just the vessels he chooses to use, mm-hmm. and we're honored to be used. And so we're going to talk about um, Dr. Hankerson. Keep going, that man. Go ahead. Go, go. Do it. <laughs> she's Do an it. assistant pastor. Um, she's a creative writer. She's a school counselor mm-hmm. uh, who specializes in mental health of youth with youth. So if you are at the school that she's at, you are very, very, very blessed. Mm-hmm. You have a real woman of God, also a professional, so you're going to get the spiritual and natural with her. That's right. And so we just, we're grateful for you and what you're doing in the community. Um, she's been on several music tours, and both of them are are writers yes. uh, of music. And so she's been on the BET music tour. And also, um, she's done many performances. I've been in the, her presence with her <laughs> playing her guitar yeah. and, and um, her um, <laughs> um, poetry. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so, again, I always like her motto, while I'm yet living, I mm-hmm. will give my all. I mm-hmm. love that. All right. And that's what we all need to do in the community is give it everything is right. that God graced us to do. So we have Mr. Knowledge, Cortez Hankerson. Now, mm-hmm. he goes by knowledge because what is that knowledge for? What does that stand for? <laughs> hey, knowledge is everything. Knowledge is power, man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and so he's a dynamic leader in the community. God has used what he was doing in the past to impact the youth. He's an entrepreneur. Um, y'all watch out now because he's going to have that that building because he is good with those hands. That's I watch right. him with his wife. I be like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> and I see the finished work. That is a mm-hmm. gift. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And so he yeah. gets it done. He's a very, what I love about um, mm-hmm. What I see with you, you are a very present and intentional man of God, husband, and father. That's right. That's, That's right. it. And so, <laughs> yes. Yeah. And so um, he's an entrepreneur, of course, and he's a music writer. And again, he has talk about your how parents can connect with you in your mentorship program. Yeah. So if if parents want to connect with me, uh, deal with um, their child or children. They could connect with me on Facebook, um, and they could. My name under there is Hank. That's H A N K. Space E R S O N. It's my last name broken in half. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it's Hank Erson. Okay. 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 <laughs> and, you know, if it's on, um, if they on Instagram, they can um, contact me on there as Knowledge. That's K N O W one three D G E underscore and we'll and we'll communicate okay okay and Mm -hmm. this young man is really out there helping to turn around the lives of young men Mm -hmm. who was once in in affiliation with some gangs and some other behaviors Mm -hmm. but they're going on to do greater things 
Mm-hmm. Thank you for what you're doing in the oh, community yes. to be the voice yeah. for the turnaround for our young people and then letting them know that there is hope. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, ma'am. More than welcome. Okay. <laughs> All right. So with that being said, that's what we're going to talk about is your turnaround. Okay. Yeah. And and what happened? Now, you share with us that God, God warned you <laughs> several times, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> talk about your encounter with God and his warnings and and and. What was the turnaround? Because I, I believe that we all have that yeah. the change that mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm really serious about doing this thing. Yeah, um, <laughs> I had a, I had a, you know they say the um, warning comes before discretion. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, I never, I never really had that relationship with God. I knew who God were. But I never had that relationship right. with him. Mm-hmm. It was so many times I had um, got, I ran in, had run ins with the law, um, just even being being affiliated with um, with gang with the gang life, even with the drug life. Um, so many times I done, done got in situations where my life could have been taken. Mm-hmm. 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 But you know that you had that voice inside, but like, no, nah, don't go that way, go this way. No, nah, right. you should just stay home. You know, you had that that gut feeling like something just don't seem right. Mm-hmm. But if you don't know no better, you'll ignore it. Mm-hmm. So that's uh that's on a lot of the a lot of the things that I encountered. That's that's what happened. I ignored the I ignored the voice. I ignored the mm-hmm. feeling mm-hmm. because I didn't know. Mm-hmm. You know, and plus two, I just wanted to do my own thing as well. Mm-hmm. So, and with that, it um, it cost me. I was I was once looking at thirty years federal time for drug charges. Mm-hmm. Um, way like mm-hmm. way in a whole different state. Like mm-hmm. I, no family, no mm-hmm. no nobody. Like my family, I feel to come way. I think I was in like Indiana, I believe. My family fit to come way to Indiana and see me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> right, so you have been on your own, right? Right, yeah, I've yeah. been on my own. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was, I had many instances where I got pulled over by, by law enforcement and they would let me go with outstanding warrants. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But they would still let me go because they was outside of the jurisdiction. Mm. And the mm-hmm. the county that was that had a hold for me, that one out for me, they mm-hmm. they weren't fit to come and get me. Mm-hmm. It was this one incident where I had got pulled. I was on my way. Um, I was on my way home. I was dropping. Um, I was actually dropping a USB off with some beats on it. Mm-hmm. I was on my way home, and this um police officer he pulled me over. He was like, "Man." I followed you. <laughs> I followed you like for weeks. Mm. Got behind you, ran your plates and stuff like that. So come to find out, I was actually driving with no registration, no insurance. Mm. Um. So he was like, "But I decided to let you go." And this was back in 2012. Mm. He was like, "But I decided to let you go." So when he pulled me over. He ran my name. He was like, "Man, I can't let uh, I can't let you go right now because it's your name is flag and red that you got a that it's a warrant out for your arrest." So doing that, he couldn't let me know what it was, mm-hmm. what it was for. So he went back, ran everything, told me everything, told me just sit tight. This cop come back to the car, give me my license, stuff like that. He was like, "Man, I'll." Before he told me about the warrant, he was like, I'm, "I got, I was about to let you go, but you got a warrant." <laughs> like, wow. he, was about, he was like, "I was about to let you go, but because mm-hmm. you, you was real respect, you was real respectable, you didn't get rude with me and nothing like that." So, I next thing I know, I see mad police cars coming, state mm-hmm. patrol, the K nine unit, everything. So they um they end up taking me. This was before they tore down. Um, if you're familiar with the uh, the Augusta area, before they tore down the 401 across from the sheriff's office. Now it does. Right. The building that was there was called for. It was the sheriff's office, but everybody knew in the everybody knew the community. You going to 401? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so mm-hmm. 
I went to 401. They booked me in there. They told me what the one was for. So Atlanta had a hold for me. Mm-hmm. Atlanta one. I'm thinking to myself, Atlanta ain't finna come way to New Augusta. It's a two hour drive. <laughs> <laughs> so as I'm um, sitting there trying to figure out who finna come and get this bun, taken care of, stuff like that, couldn't get in touch with nobody. Mm. So once I left 401, they took me to Fantasy Road. Mm-hmm. That's that's the Charles B. Wells for Center. For for those that don't know where Fantasy Road is. So <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. um as I'm sitting in there, I'm sitting in this room with with two other guys, but I'm laying on the floor auto. Because mm-hmm. see, I'm a guest now. So when you go when you get incarcerated, you and somebody and that and that person I've been in that cell, that's considered their home. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm a guest in somebody else's home, so I gotta sleep mm-hmm. on the floor. Mm-hmm. And no matter how macho you are, you gonna respect you gonna respect that home because that's yeah. somebody else's own. Mm. So, um, as I'm sitting on the floor, laying on the floor, I'm I hear the voice of God say, "I got you now, though. Mm. Now you got no choice but to listen." Mm. Yeah. So, as I'm laying there, I say, "God, you know what? If you get me out of this situation today, I'll give my life over to you." Mm. Mm. Now, a lot of people say that. Mm-hmm. And God honors what they're saying. And he gets them out of that situation, but they go right back to that same situation that put them right back in there. Mm-hmm. Right. So when I got released, took care of everything that I needed to take care of, I started removing myself. Because mm-hmm. I, I, I meant what I said to God. Like, if you got me out of this situation, I'll get my life over to you. Right. So. Mm-hmm. I started removing myself around the circle I was in, the mm-hmm. people I was in. Started it was hard. Mm-hmm. Nah, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't it was easy tough. at all. Mm-hmm. I think going through that process was the most hardest. I say the most hardest challenge, hardest thing I had to do dealing with my life up to this day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I had threats on my life coming, um, yeah. everything. Mm-hmm. So calls I had to make. To, it was like when I say on my life, I had hits for my life. Mm. So, because people don't understand when you get in game life, man, it's it's blood in, blood out. Mm-hmm, right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, once you in, you in. It's like a marriage. Once you in it, you in it. Mm-hmm. If you don't believe in divorce, but, you know, <laughs> that's that's not, that's not, yeah. you did hear right here. Yeah. So, um, once, once I started getting all of that stuff situated, I, st- I started finding myself um, gradually going to church, started going mm-hmm. to church. So the more I started going to church, the more I started getting in God's word, started praying to God even more. Mm-hmm. And the more I started praying to him, the more he started, he kept removing people that didn't need to be around me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yes. started removing me from around them. Mm-hmm. You know, because sometimes we feel like, oh, this person stopped talking to me. You can't go where that person going. That's that right. person can't go where I'm going. Yes. Mm-hmm. So God is not just removing me from them. He mm-hmm. removing me. He removing me from them as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And them from me. Mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. I can't, I don't know the journey God got them on. So mm-hmm. I can't be around them. They can't be around me because we're not on the same wavelength. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the more and more I started Started going, started talking to God, started praying to God, started, I started meditating. Mm-hmm. To hear from God, it's like, I got that, I got that awakening. Yeah. Like, right. Yeah. And, yes. it, and it started to feel good, though. Yes. Mm-hmm. It started to feel good. Like, man, like, shoot, I was out here too busy trying to fight the devil for his throne, man, when mm-hmm. God got all of this. Mm-hmm. So that turn, mm-hmm. man, the turnaround is, I, I wouldn't go back. <laughs> To God be the glory, and Amen. you know, yeah. even your name changed. You, mm-hmm. you shared that that you, you yeah. it's not like Abram to Abraham. <laughs> you know, you, you had a name change because yeah. because yeah. because it seemed like did the name change come once you made up your mind to live for God? Yeah, once once I fully made my mind up, be like, you know what, I'm just God, just I want to be that vessel for you. Just use me however you see fit. Mm. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Let me remove myself out of the way so that way you can get in my way mm-hmm. and lead my life for me. Mm-hmm. Instead of me trying to be all in your way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When I'm going to crash because I'm too foolish and I want to hear your hear your voice and mm-hmm. you're telling me to go this way, but it's an accident of the street. 
Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. You know, so with the name change, my name, my screen name was Maniac. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So even when I talk to people um, that still affiliated in gang life, they know not to call me that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like, because they That's respect. respect. They respect the fact. They respect the fact of where I'm at, and they respect the journey that I'm on. So, mm-hmm. so yeah. even when they say it in a in a slick, funny way, mm-hmm. I correct them real quick. I just told you not to call me that. Like mm-hmm. my demeanor changes, like yeah. because mm-hmm. that's not who I am. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. You know. So, yes. I was. I remember I was at work. I was at work, and I was. Uh, I was listening to something. Listen to some um on on the radio. And it was a uh, it was actually a gospel station. Actually it was um it was K Love I was listening to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um I heard God say, um I kept hearing the name knowledge. Then I heard God mm-hmm. say, change your name. Mm-hmm. You done, you done with that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I I pondered on it and then that's when the name knowledge came. Mm-hmm. So once I dropped Maniac, knowledge came came about. Knowledge was birth. Mm-hmm. You know, and mm-hmm. when I did that, I started seeing the more and more I started learning so much more about I started teaching myself more about business, started learning more about my mental organization. Mm-hmm. Um started Diving deep into mm-hmm. the law and how much the law changes every single day. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Started learning even more about so many other games that so many people not aware of. Mm-hmm. You know, started digging deeper into God's word. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, what He really Love had it. for me mm-hmm. here on this earth, mm-hmm. and I started putting myself out there, going to churches to speak it. To speak to the youth yes. and not mm-hmm. just and see when a lot of people hear youth they're thinking that you're just talking about um like young kids and mm-hmm. teenagers no when i see when we hear youth we talking about in your 20s yes mm-hmm. in your 30s yes because on up to even in your 50s you can still have a youth mind yes you know what i mean mm-hmm. so i started speaking to a lot of older generations, 60 and up, and because there's a lot of stuff that they were still dealing with, you know, because you have people that's still, that's, that's seniors that mm-hmm. still mm-hmm. be affiliated out here. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. You know, they be wanting to get out, but because of the mindset that they're in, mm-hmm. it's like, man, you got this young man coming in, mm-hmm. done experienced so much because I've experienced a lot in my life. Mm-hmm. Right. And just hearing this man, hearing this young man speak, man, like you really made me want to change my life. And Praise and with God. that, I've seen mm-hmm. seen lives started being changed off, off of the stuff that I've talked about. Like with just being, September being um, the month that it is dealing with suicide, I was dealing with suicide, mm-hmm. you know, so I could relate. Yes. It's a lot of stuff that a lot of people, especially these young these young men that's going through, I could relate to. Mm-hmm. So Well, praise God for you. I tell you, Amen. and, and yeah. you, man, that, yeah. that's the whole session right there. <laughs> yeah. But, but thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you yeah. because it is important, family, parents, to you got to connect yeah. with young men like knowledge. You have to. You That's have right. to connect with them. Mm-hmm. And even though I know like my husband and he comes with a lot of wisdom, but knowledge is able to teach men like my husband mm-hmm. things because he's been in places that my husband hasn't been. And so thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Amen. And, and we're at, we're at the end of session three. But yeah. this this session was intensive and it was intentional for parents to listen. Yeah. And hopefully some young man, even some young lady who is listening that's been affiliated with gangs and feel hopeless and feel like there's no way out will hear your testimony and grow from that. Amen. Thank you so much Amen. for your transparency. 
Yes, ma'am. And again, we don't never know who's listening. Uh, we always like to give out the mental health information. There's a 988 hotline. There's a text 741-741. Mm -hmm. There's free 24 uh, seven service. There is the NAMI National Alliance with Mental Illness. And so you can reach out on their website in the state that you live in. There's the 211. That's the basic community number. Also, um, if nothing else, please reach out to 911. Do not suffer in silence. Do not end it. Okay, Mr. Perry. God is always talking to us. When a baby's born, he takes a breath. Yeah. Wait. Mm. Yeah. Wait. He, he says the name of God. Mm -hmm. And when we die, we take that last breath. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Wait. You actually speak the name of God when you die. But in the beginning, all the way to the end, will you answer? When he called. This has been Young People Nation. Remember, there is always hope. Christ is the foundation. Know his word gonna lead us. Know I'm already going. Taking steps I believe in. Giving guidance to the youth. Giving guidance to the lost. Give the world to the project. Lead them back to the cross. He the number one prospect. He the top, top boss. I was broke, I was empty. He the one to pay the cost. Really thought that I was cool. There was nothing like the savior. Now it's time for the truth. The whole world been waiting. It's your people nation. 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 The whole world been waiting. Whatever you going through, I know what he gonna do. No matter the circumstance, we going back to the room. Keep going, keep going. Let that seed keep growing. You need peace and we know it. Now it's time to live holy. Young people nation. You know what time it is. Young people nation. Get ready, the time is here. Get ready, we vibing here. We about to let God in here. Young people nation. It's young people nation. Yeah, do it for the heavens. You know where we going. Influenced by his love, you know we gotta show it. It's time to put the youth on to what God is doing. Cause I can tell you now, right now, that God is moving. It's your people nation.